tell you about my hummingbird. We feed hummingbirds, and we have two feeders, and, and they have four spigots on each one. And sometimes we'll have a whole lot, like a dozen uh, uh, hummingbirds out there all at the same time. And so you can see if 12 are competing for eight spigots, why they might be jostling each other a little bit. But other times there's only one out there. And another one comes to the other feeder. And this one over here will attack that other one and drive it away. And you say, this is more nectar than this little hummingbird could, could drink all summer long. But still, it's like, I found it. It's mine. You get out of here. And I think sometimes that's how we think life goes. That God only has so much love, and we found it. And we don't want anyone else to get part of it. Or there's only so much success in life, and I'm going to get all of it I can before someone else takes it away from me. It's like this game we're playing. Elder Holland said, the world tells us what matters and all too often we listen. And in doing so, we fail to hear the Lord through the Spirit offering us a better perspective. We need to tell ourselves, self-talk, over and over, say it in our prayers, teach it in our lessons, discuss it in our family home meetings. The Lord loves us, doesn't favor any one of his children over another, and isn't conducting a contest. We're the ones who invented competition with one another. And if we're thinking right, we'll get out of the game. I don't think there's greater joy in this life than to give up feeling competitive with everyone around you. And to sort of accept yourself for who you are and for the things you do well. And, the, and, and even accept the things you don't do 